welcome back. So we had decreasing clouds we made our way through the day today. And temperatures were on their way down as most of us uh, fell from the upper 20s back into the lower 20s for highs. Let's take a look at uh, our sky cam outside right now. And as you can see, we do have uh, mainly uh, clear skies out, out there right now. And uh, temperatures are uh, into the lower 20s out towards Scotts Bluff, upper teens at Bridgeport and Oshkosh, near 20 right now at Shadron, and the cool spot out toward Kimball and at Sydney into the lower to mid teens. Here's a look at the winds, mainly from a northwesterly direction. Wind speeds right now between 20 and 25 miles per hour. So they've died down a little, still a little breezy out there. Some of the strongest wind gusts out toward Hemingford, uh, Hemingford a uh, wind gust of 39 miles per hour. Most everybody else has wind gusts 30 to 35. So it's really making it feel cool in terms of the wind chill value. Wind chills across the region, mainly between zero and five degrees. So prepare for that if you're making your way outside. Here's the only weather alert we have. It's still for Sheridan County in a winter weather advisory uh, that does go until Saturday at 6 a.m. So everybody else uh, has their, their uh, weather alerts have expired, including all the blizzard warnings from that system that did move through on Tuesday. Here's a look at the satellite loop. So we have uh, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies north of Scotts Bluff and mainly clear skies make your way into the southern panhandle, finally starting to dry out across the region. Now, high pressures is moving off to our south. That low that came through here a few days ago, moving into the Great Lakes and then into the northeast is a big snowmaker out in that direction. But we still have that strong northwesterly wind. That will end as we go through the weekend. High pressure in charge of our forecast, more of a southerly or westerly wind as we warm up with more sunshine. So going through the overnight, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies for most of us. Temperatures falling back into the lower to mid-teens. That's where we start off for your Saturday. Saturday's highs into the upper 20s and lower 30s across the region uh, with mainly uh, clear skies. Lots of sunshine through the afternoon. Clear skies overnight. It will be pretty cold out there because of the clear skies and the late winds finally. So we're going to have sing single digit low temperatures and then back into the mid to upper 20s as we go through the day on Sunday. Some of us actually could be over 30 degrees still with a good amount of sunshine. So the clouds from that system are exiting and the strong wind is moving away too. High pressure is going to crest just off to our south. A little bit of a southerly or westerly wind, but lots of sunshine over the weekend. Then colder air works its way in for Monday and Tuesday as uh, a cooler high works in and we will cloud up just a little. So here's a look at the extended forecast, low to mid 30s for Saturday and Sunday. Lots of sunshine out there, maybe a little breezy for tomorrow. Temperatures near 20 on Monday and Tuesday with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Dry through Wednesday when we will have cloudy skies and just a chance of some light snow showers and a high of 25, a little windy too. And then the coldest air will work its way in, but it's not going to stay very long. Thursday, still thinking a low of 10 below zero and a high of 10 above, partly cloudy. But then we're right back up in the mid-20s with partly to mostly cloudy skies on Friday. Angel? Thanks, Justin. From holiday parties to events, this is a time of the year where we tend to get together. Some look forward to it, while others may not. In today's